All right, welcome back. Now, Malusi Gigaba, the Minister of Home Affairs, reiterated yesterday during a press briefing that Ajay and Atul Gupta do not have South African citizenship by, but are indeed permanent residents here. The minister gave feedback to the media after meeting with the parliamentary committee that is investigating state capture to talk about the naturalization of members of the Gupta family on Tuesday afternoon. Joining us now on the line is Mkuseli Apleni. He is the Director General of the Department of Home Affairs. Mr. Apleni, good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming through. I think what really surprised many people yesterday is the fact that Minister Kigaba had said that members of the Gupta family were granted South African citizenship due to their uh, contribution to the economy. And yesterday he stated that Ajay and Atul Gupta do not have citizenship. What, what's the real status here and where does this confusion really come from? Yes. No, thanks, thanks, thanks for the question and, and, and morning to the viewers. You see, Palisa... Let's go to the history of this matter. There was a, a media leak which said ministers overruled a team of adjudicators which recommended that AJ and family must be granted citizenship, though they were not qualifying. That's why now in, in June we went to Parliament we were talking about A.J. Gupta, the mother, the wife, and their two sons. That's all what we've been dealing with it from June up to yesterday in Parliament. Then we explained that when those people were not qualifying, it was because they applied as a family. So they've missed that the rule said in the five years which are preceding your application for naturalization, you must not be out of the country more than 90 days. So the mother and the wife did not meet that requirement. But the law allows that under exceptional circumstances, you can apply to the minister to say, yes, I did not meet this requirement, but here are my exceptional circumstances. In their case, it was about their businesses. Then that was forwarded to the minister through the departmental process. Then it was approved. But at the point of now taking the citizenship, AJ says no. If the law says if I'm coming from a country which does not allow dual citizenship, I do not want to renounce my Indian citizenship. Therefore, I am not taking the South African citizenship. Where we are now with Parliament was just to, we have done everything yesterday. Minister went there and we closed the matter that now it is in the hands of Parliament. Mm -hmm. But now after that, we were in a media briefing is when now this name of Atul, there was a question which was asked, but all along, we never dealt with Atul. I even said yesterday, if now we deal with the family, we are not dealing here with the Gupta family, because Gupta family are too many people. We are dealing with AJ family. I even made an example about myself and say, Kuseli Akleni family means myself, my wife and my kids and my mother and all that. But once you stay now a plainly family, you mean cousins, you mean whatever. So let's really talk about this AJ so that now we are correct. It's yeah. then that this question Gena was prompted out. So we want Gena to go back and, and, and deal with this. We're going to come back now and deal with the issue of our truth. Mm -hmm. So what's the current status? Because I do remember when you went to Parliament in June, Mr. Apleni, the EFF brought two letters to say this is the proof that we have that indeed Ajay and his family, yeah. his wife and the kids have been naturalized and apparently the process was fast-tracked in 2016. So what's the status? Yeah. Th those letters, how, how legitimate and, and genuine are those letters? Yes. Yeah. That, that's good. I mean, that, that's all what we're dealing with. Where we are now, even that's what we said in, in, in Parliament yesterday, that with the letter, which now was from the EFF, as, as EFF, as we said, we 
believed, but that letter was tempered with, we've got what is our original letter. So as the department was still investigating that part, which now will go back to Parliament and say, yes, because the other letter was in 2015 at the time that they can come back and apply, whereas the, uh, the our letter is 2017. So that's what you know, we need to take that letter to people who are forensic, uh, uh, understanding of uh, writing and all that, and look at that, and then we'll come back and say, this is the outcome of that process. All right. Staying with Ajay now, wh what's his current status? Does he have a temporary visa or residence? Does he have a permanent residence? Does he have a South African citizenship? Because I think really what people would want to know that they are playing is the fact that he has been classified as a fugitive. What happens next? Yeah. AJ has got a permanent residence permit. AJ does not have a South African citizenship. Does not have. Hmm. All right. So in, we, we know that in terms of uh, his extradition, it's, it's the prerogative of the Department of Correctional Services and International Relations. But what happens next? Yeah. No, as we said even yesterday, that... As a Department of Home Affairs, we are part of the security cluster. If there is any request which comes to us and say, let us deal with this thing in this particular manner, we will do so. For instance, if now a day is going to come into South Africa, he has to come to our border post. So if now we know that once he gets into the border post, he has been relisted or whatever, then we'll deal with that based on the operation which were involved in with the uh, uh, security law enforcement agency. All right. Now we have to leave it at that as much as I know that there are also questions around them obtaining BEE certificates if they're not South African citizens that they're obtaining. But due to time constraints, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much to the DG for the Department of Home Affairs, Mkuseli Apleni, talking to us about what transpired in Parliament and at the, at the media briefing yesterday where the Minister of Home Affairs, Manusi Kigab, was basically saying that uh, Ajay Gupta and Atul Gupta do not have South African citizenship. That's the issue that we'll be keeping a very close eye on. We take